the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Can we talk about the uh, the nude selfie? Um, not recommended. Never ever do it. Um, especially with iCloud these days, you never know where it's going to end up, where it's going to be hacked, and the next thing you know, everybody's having a look at a very private photo. Um, I always think to myself, how many photos do you take of yourself to get it right you, before, before you, you're happy with your body? Mm-hmm. Do, you, do, no. do you feel at any point? Do you look like at yourself idiot? from above yeah. and have an out of body experience and think, I look oh. like an absolute if idiot? Someone could see me now. I know. Right well, now. Well, it's, it's a mirror shot, isn't it? Well, well you, you don't, don't have to be a mirror because shot. Because if, so. I, I'm, if you're going to do a full nude, you're going to have to have really long arms. Yeah, if you want to be great this, with, with the nude, nude shots. You need, I would be, because I've got long arms. Yeah, but you also have a long body. Yeah, well, so that's it doesn't right. even well, out. Well, no, I'd have to have even longer arms to get it all in, I suppose. You could do my nude shots. I think you're right, though, Whip. I think everyone should just have a blanket rule. Yeah, do not do. Don't do it. Don't do it. Full stop. But you're right. I think if you want to do full body, you need a mirror. But if you want to do sort of more intimate side shot, above shot, below shot... (laughs) I wouldn't recommend below shot. I forgot the money shot. Yeah, oh, way. the money shot, oh, yeah. which is another one. I don't know what that means, but apparently that's only fans who get money for the images. I think that's what it is. Here's the awkward thing. Is there a cutoff age for a, um, a nude selfie? And we've done this topic before. Where did your nude selfie accidentally end up? Um, because it can fall into the wrong hands. But uh, I want to know if there's a cutoff age because I don't think it's something probably parents should be doing. Unfortunately, it's resurfaced, but Joe Biden's younger brother, Frank, uh, Frank and Beans. <laughs> Frank is 64. Did he say Frank and Beans and crack himself up? Oh, yeah, he did. He, he did. did. Just because I thought of it at the time. I don't do much prep for this show, guys. Um, so I'm just reading it as we go. Now, Frank was 64, and unfortunately, he's ended up on a website called guyswithiphones.com, um, which is not the which sexiest is a great name. Website, like, every honest. guy has, a, has oh, an iPhone. I mean, I'm right? mad for that one. Oh, guys with iPhones. <laughs> Are they just photos of guys, guys holding, oh, my God, that's the original iPhone. Oh, my God. That's the, that's, oh, here that's, I am with my Nokia. Oh, I mean, God. I know it's not an that's iPhone, no, but, you know, original. like vintage. Yeah, vintage. That's fourth generation. That is unbelievable. Yeah, what I didn't realise is Guys With iPhones is actually a site where other men go to to check out other guys, which is fine. Um, but it's very, very popular. <laughs> Thanks, Webb, for giving us all permission. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. <laughs> He's come out and said, I don't care. I'm, I'm not fussed. He's actually married, and he said, that's between Mindy and me. So his wife's name is Mindy, Frank and Mindy. Uh, there's a movie in this. Uh, 13, 24, 10, if your parents, you discover that they had taken some private photos. Can I just jump in here quickly? Yeah, because if you knew you, Heather was at home. No, uh, don't bring my mother into there this. there she was in no, front uh, of the oi, mirror. Oi, oi, that she is out of yeah. bounds. The only way my you, mother is out of bounds on this show. And the only way you can defend yourself, Heather, is by giving us a call. No. No, you get you on in the show? She, Sorry, Kate, that wasn't for you. No, what I'm saying is you're saying, you asked the question about whether there is an age cutoff. Yeah. And you said, oh, these people are parents. I mean, we're all parents yeah. in here. So, I mean, parents need loving too. And, and maybe parents need... Oi. No, but parents, you know, parents have feelings. Yeah, parents are do. human beings. I think as as a child, the older you get, the more you realise that your parents are just people Humans. trying to get through life, and they have Very needs defensive. and wants and desires and have you been all of that stuff you as well. Been. Have you what? got? A, you've obviously got an album yourself in your photo. No, I don't. No, I don't. But I just think you asking about whether well, you're there being should very be defensive about the older person nudie. Well, because I think we're a bit being a bit ageist. Okay, well, let's take the ageist off it and just say, are you a parent? Do you want to just go with blanket? Because I think the idea is that when you become a parent, you kind of need to set a standard that you would like your kids to understand and therefore you don't behave that way either. Uh, uh, And when does that start for you? I'm not sure. Tomorrow. (laughs) Hey, I'm not sending any nudes and I'm not taking any nudes. Have you? Once. No. Have you? Once. Who for? Lisa. No. (laughs) 
did, did you I really? sent it as a joke no, when mate. I was in a hot tub yeah. and I was trying to get her to come and join me in the hot tub. Yeah. Oh, don't send a photo. She'll never come in. She didn't. She fell asleep. Yeah, that is one she was, stew I do not want to marry. No. She, was, <laughs> she wasn't asleep. We've all done that trick. <laughs> Can we just get Kia? So I'm sure she was snoring. Let's get Kia on from Algoa. Uh, your grandparents. Tell us about that, Kia. What? <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit awkward and a bit of an accident, but um, I'm a nurse and um, my grandpa lives a little bit away from me, but he's quite tech savvy. So he took a photo of a rash that was in his groin area and wanted just to send it to me so that I could sort of say, you know, what cream he needed to put on it, yes. but accidentally put it in our family group chat. Yes. <laughs> just awesome. There, Good a... morning, Pa. <laughs> Gramps is gone. Do you think there's a cream for this? I don't know, but there's a tablet. There's a little yeah. pill. <laughs> Oh, oh, God, no. isn't it a big wide shot? Being a grandfather, you probably would have seen his knees as well, Kia. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> he was ringing the church bell. Kia, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the call. How, how, how old, old was can he? we go? How old was he at the time? Around 78. about 78. Oh, we're not going to beat 78 yeah. nudes. Can we beat yeah. 78? Oh, gee, that's a big ask. <laughs> Sydney, what is the oldest nude <laughs> selfie ever taken? This is a great topic you came up with, Tommy. Let's go to Jess in Forestville. What have you got, Jess? Hi. Well, when my grandparents were unable to move themselves, so they were moving into care facilities, my mother and I had to go through their house and pack up for them, essentially. Yep. And in my grandfather's bedside table, we found some intimate photos of my beautiful grandmother oh. when she was maybe in her 20s or 30s. Oh. Okay, well, that's oh, sort oh, of Do you know what? Different. That actually makes beautiful. me feel really happy. Yeah, what a, but, but yeah. Je, Jess, what was the pose, can I oh, ask? She was sitting what? in a chair. No, it was beautiful. It was actually a beautiful photo. She was sitting in a chair, but the back of the chair was facing the camera. Right. So you couldn't see anything below her waist, yep. but you could tell she wasn't wearing any clothes. So you could see her chest, and she was posing beautifully. It was a, it was actually a beautiful photo. My grandmother was mortified and ripped it up, but um, when oh we found no. it, oh no, was it black know, and white? It was a bit sad. It was black and white. It was oh, very classic. It's quite artistic, isn't it? Oh, There's a difference between a, a, a beautiful piece of art and... Well, it was practically a Norman then, Lindsay. Yes, it was. It's no, different. come on. Back in those Just, days, that's a quick little... I mean, no, but that's different to that than Granny's up on the kitchen bench. Yeah. Know, yeah, with a what? timer set up. Oh, not with a spatula. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? With um, a rolling pin. Oh, uh, okay. Can I ask, Jess, yep. did, was it something that your grandfather held on to as a special memory? Like, Oh, I'm sure. It was in his top drawer of his bedside table. It's amazing. It's really it special just, stuff it yes. would have been jarring first up, though, Jess, for you when you first saw it. Well, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look, not as jarring as finding his recent adult magazine collection. So. Oh, all right, so he's got four. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a bit more jarring. We kept that one to ourselves. Oh, so we didn't share that with Brandon. Oh, oh I, I hope the nursing home's ready. He's coming in hot. I remember when I <laughs> That's found. That's right. When I found Dad's down in the shed, I, there was an element of disgust, but also, you know... Fascination. Oh, I hit the jackpot. As a teenage boy. <laughs> jackpot! Did you tell him? Did you say anything to me? <laughs> of course I didn't. It was that, Why that, would you dob yourself in? Then you that, can't sneak out to the garage on a oh, Thursday afternoon. So. Absolutely no chance. But I read every article <laughs> in those. Uh, Hudson in Mona Vale. Uh, is this your grandparents or parents? No, so this this isn't even my parents. I was um, it was back in lockdown during COVID. Yeah. I was tutoring these kids when all classes and school was online, and I was just helping them, you know, stay on task and stuff. And they had obviously their parents had obviously just gone out and got them iPads and stuff to help set up for online learning. Yeah. And we were doing a little task, and we had to go to the camera roll, and it must have been synced to their to their iCloud or something because there was just a couple of all these nude photos that the parents had taken and the kids were just like oh and I had to grab the iPad and it was so awkward and they, had, they knew that I saw and the kids were the oh. shocked, they're only young um, but the worst part was I mean I was doing this for like a couple of days like during lockdown so I was coming back and I had to eventually bring it up to the parents and be like hey I think you need to unsync your, your oh. iCloud to the to the kid kid's iPad because those photos are coming through. Oh. oh, hot and fast. Got to pay the See, school first. And that's the thing with with 
elderly people and technology, they have no, no. idea that they've synced up to an iPad. Oh. Accidents can happen really well, easily. I can't do it. I wouldn't have a clue. Oh, no, don't you start doing any of that gear. <laughs> Have you come up on the big screen yeah. here in the Ooh. studio? <laughs> My God, the Anzac Bridge has never looked so beautiful. Wakey, wakey, Sydney. <laughs> oh. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.